everyone had experienced the uh, the ambush outside of Ron Rugg's house. You all went back there, and the place had been turned over, trying to make sure that Ron Rugg was safe, but there was an ambush. Uh, Elsie Clone was lit up with arrows. But in I the mean, process, to be fair, we sort of ambushed some of them too. That's true. I mean, the ambush did yeah. kind of go both ways. <laughs> I think they were ambushed more. Elsie Clone knew exactly what was about to happen. Yeah, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was the very worst. A mutual ambush. <laughs> that was a cell phone. I think <laughs> a mutually hey. assured ambush. Hey, you know what? My conscience is clear on that. So screw you guys. Uh, <laughs> Akazriel, the Hound Archon, and Riot, with her Detect Thoughts, managed to get some information out of one of the assassins. So you know the location of the portal leading to Diller's headquarters, and you know what the gate key is. And the question that's hanging in the air is whether or not they have Ron Rug at this very moment. Right. So the I'm thinking we ought, made, to, we ought to hurry in case they do. So you, yeah, Exactly. The consensus is to make your way over there immediately? Yeah, all we have to do is find a rat and kill it. That shouldn't be too difficult, but yeah, let's let's uh, get on moving and... Uh... Okay, so Mahogany wild shapes into a rat, and who snaps his neck? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I can't get us a rat. I mean, I've, I've, I've ratted before. You're, oh yeah, that's right. So you're gonna use your animal, animal messenger. Messenger, your animal messenger spell to attempt to get a rat and then kill that rat. <laughs> that's the idea. The message is: I'm that. sorry about this. <laughs> Who was sending it to? No one. Snap. We're sorry. I think the rat you tried we can do to, it to communicate is dead. <laughs> I think if you we... believe you've gotten this message in error, error, please recast the spell and right. try your message again. <laughs> I think we could do it a little faster than ten minutes, though. Like, I'm pretty sure I can catch Rat within ten minutes in the lower ward. Uh, well, That's true. We, the, we other concern, the, the other thing you should be concerned about, Mahogany, is that casting Animal Messenger for the sole purpose of killing the messenger might be construed as an abuse of the power entrusted to you by your god. My god's an asshole and got into <laughs> his godly realm... By saying he was good at everything. He would love me abusing my power in such a way. Alright, so try it and see what happens. The kind of trickery that he gets up to. But but no, I, I think I would be faster to just catch one. Yeah, we're near the mortuary. There's got to be a million rats around here. Yeah. Um, easily enough. So what what is the game plan in the next ten minutes? Are we doing any preparation or are we just heading straight over there? Okay, so how was everyone doing on eight? Uh, I'm, I'm at full. I'm at eight. Uh, I've taken sixteen damage out of forty-five hit points. Okay, you're minus sixteen. What are you minus? Uh, uh, sixteen as well. All right, I'm going to give each of you uh, ten hit points back. Okay. Through the use of good berry. Good berry. Okay. Wait, how many spell slots does that use? Uh, level one. Okay. So you managed to find a rat, and standing at the wooden archway indicated uh, by the assassin that the lawful, good, celestial creature tortured. Who we were wondering about that? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of, uh, like I said last week, that's pretty Jack Bauer of him there. Does anybody that, bring it up? It's an evil creature. Direct, this is, this that is went the... directly into... Uh, Mahogany's opinions on what a lawful good creature yeah, would this do. This is what so you have to understand about confused. the lawful half of lawful good. It's an evil creature. That's fine. <laughs> so, but that does Elsie Clone or Riot bring it up to a Kazriel as you're traveling over to the portal? Elsie Clone was unconscious for the whole thing. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, right, so really, right it's just a matter it. of any. And a Kazriel's answer is very curt. He tells you that he does not suffer the wicked to live. All right. Good to know. <laughs> he says it in a very uh, matter-of-fact way. Let's see. I need to double-check something real quick. Is... Don't worry, right? You're mendacious at best. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good old Imager. Time to go.
you all, uh, how many of you have seen the uh, Tarantino modern classic Inglorious Bastards? I have not. I nope. have not either. Either. None of you. So none of you are going to get the reference about not fighting in a basement. You ain't no, gonna be a genius to know you don't want to fight in a basement. So now you can still say the joke. I mean, we won't get it, but everybody's gonna. I'm be, sure you'll no, find it very was, funny. It wasn't a joke. Yeah, stream it was might a enjoy it. Just yeah. Also, and rude. What's, how are you guys not watching Tarantino movies? Like he's the best. Watch all of them. I haven't, I haven't I seen a lot of movies in the theater for a while. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty much half and half on whether I like or hate any given Tarantino movie from my experience. Well, it falls into the hate part. Alright, I'm on the way marching up. order. I want you guys to I'll... line up from this square going to the right, first one through the portals at the front. Akazrio will way... follow your lead. So let me get the chest out. On the way over, mm -hmm. um... I'm going to use my healing word, aka my healing crazy ass pressure point. You see LC Cologne, like, you know, jam his thumb into some <clears> weird <throat> spot on his back, and he feels a lot better afterward. <laughs> yeah, what what did you side class it? I didn't really side class into anything. But but I, you got uh... spells from a different class, so what was your Cleric, ostensibly. So who's your god? Well, well, you you have to select a class. Did you select cleric? Yes. Okay. Uh, so that's a good question. Who is what deity? Where, was, where I'm, do you want I'm a in this marching order as well? This, he's the yellow one. Oh, is that the one that uh, Mondo had? Yeah, he, said he was you following you mentioned the lead, it. right? Yeah, yeah. you put him wherever you want him in the marching order, and he. Is will... there enough space to walk uh, two abroad, or just in a line? I uh, just want these are five foot squares. You could walk two abroad if you squeeze shoulder to shoulder. That yeah. looks. Let's put let's, let's put him right behind Serenity. Good. I mean, Serenity was going to go in front, but for some reason Elsie Clone was up there. So uh, Armando's yeah. deity, if that's the one Elsie Clone's taking, was Amaterasu. Yeah, Amaterasu. Yeah. Keelian, bring it up the rear. Again. Oh my. Someone's got a manager like a boost. <laughs> Let me get this set up here. So Serenity, standing at the wooden archway, snap the rat's neck, the thing twitches and squeals in your hand for a split second. The portal blares open, and it opens into somewhere, this stuffy basement, somewhere deep underneath Sigil. And I'm going to go let my dog in, otherwise he's going to bark for the next three hours. <laughs> Why don't you guys all roll initiative and keep the numbers handy for when I ask for them. Okay. Do it, do it. Wait, are you telling me we're going to get into a fight here? I am also uh, going to go apparently. do dog maintenance real quick. Uh, I rolled a so low bad. number. Alright yeah. guys, we're rating at 5. I rolled lower. I bet you didn't. What'd you roll? A 1. Oh, yeah, okay, I rolled a 2. <laughs> guys, we're pulling in 5, so be ready. Dog maintenance. I need healer's buffs at T-2 minus two minutes. <laughs> Is that what, is this a raid? Yep. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna be holding all the ads. Uh, Cyclone, you gotta off tank oh. the boss. We have to switch off every 30 seconds or the stacking debuff is gonna kill us. Yeah, you're right, okay. So, Alright, uh, shamans, I'm gonna need you to cast poop on dad to bring up the raid <laughs> DPS. Nobody stand in the fire, alright? You gotta Wait, remember that. no, this is the one where you, you have to stand in the blue fire, don't stand in the red fire. Then once you get the blue fire buff, you move into the red fire. Okay, I got it now. 
All right, chums, let's do this. You guys are nerds. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. See, Clone already has Leroy Jenkins. Today yes. Because yeah. I placed myself in the in the beginning, and he keeps thrusting me back, which I figure Mahogany will accept. More dots. I just think come it's on. Funny. Come on, Mahogany. More dots. <laughs> I just keep putting myself in the front because my perception is so high. I just keep putting myself in the front because I'm a walking tank. <laughs> Alright, where's Riot at? Uh, four. <laughs> and what about Elsie Clone? LC clone is on a 17. And Killian? 20. You changed your order. And Serenity? Serenity acts at uh, 16. And Mahogany. Mahogany. Six. Six. As soon as the portal blares open and you guys appear at the top of the stairs, you hear a loud, a lot of noise and commotion from down in the basement. Um, Riot, you recognize Diller's voice rising up over the din. Uh, <coughs> telling everybody to get ready and you can't see through this wall here this is a solid wall my dog is going ham out there um, you're coming down these stairs here uh, the rail of the okay. stairs you can look over into the room so this is not a solid wall here so if you're standing at the top of the stairs you have line of sight into the room um, the sides of the room there are stacks of barrels and supplies uh, the large table the black one here is Diller he's got what looks like a members of his anarchist cell sitting around the table. Um, the table itself is covered in a map, a blueprint of some kind of some area you can't see from here. Uh, the light in the room is coming from this center. Uh, yeah, this circular lantern hanging from the ceiling and it's swaying back and forth. There's a slight breeze coming from somewhere in one of the walls. Uh, but yeah, looking at the table, they've got this blueprint spread out. Um, Half-eaten dinner. Looks like you've interrupted them. And you suddenly hear a very loud rushing sound. Uh, like the sound of air rushing in to fill a vacuum. And you see a very bright glow from around this corner, from back in this area of the room. That brings us to Keelian. I'm gonna shoot me some Diller. Shoot some Diller. All right, go ahead. Uh, wait. Which? What are the red guys? And green guys? Or just the red and green guys? Of... These are these are, look to be members of the anarchist cell. Um, they're they're not dressed in any kind of uniform. There's not any consistency to like they're not all wearing the same cloak or the same colors. Um, but they're all humans. All right. And I'm gonna go actually right. retrieve my dog because now he's just barking uh, at uh, the screen door. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Dog retrieved. So you're shooting Diller. That's exciting. No, I'm going to shoot this guy instead. Shoot that guy, okay? Yeah, Roll shoot it. that guy. Whoops. Shoot uh, mook number two. Uh, 12? 12. Does not hit. Okay. Uh, bonus action to hide. Can I just can I can I hide behind the this railing here? No, you cannot. 
there's nowhere. Is to there enough for, for me to? If you were to duck down beneath the railing, I mean, it's, you figure it's a wooden railing with posts connecting it to the staircase, like okay. a banister. So there's there's nowhere so, to hide there. Nowhere to hide. Not even partial cover. All right. No, it's um, not that skinny. No, you're not even granted partial cover up there. Boo. Okay. In that case, I'll just chill. Just. Chill. <laughs> Oh, did you use all your movement? Uh, I, I assumed I used my movement to get into the room. The portal oh. is here. Yeah. So anybody who's not on this side of the square by the end of Serenity's second turn is locked out. I'll use my... Okay. On that case, I will use my <clears throat> cunning action to just move farther into the room. Okay. Good old Diller's turn. What you gonna do, Diller? Keelian, you yeah. see Diller look into this back area of the room here, and he mm. points and at someone that you can't see and says, You! Earn your keep! And then you see him flee behind this wall. What a baby. <laughs> El Cyclone. Uh, take a position right here. Okay. Uh, dodge, dodge action. <clears throat> dodge action. Serenity. Okay, so what is this wooden-looking thing? That's the banister of the stairs. Okay, and then what is this? That is a solid wall. I mean, it looks like okay. it's like a wine stone. bottle thing, but no, solid stone wall. Okay. To here, and I will take a Serenity or pull a javelin off of her harness and throw it at this guy. So are you standing up on the stairs, or did you leap the banister and land on the floor? Leap the banister. Do I need to make a roll for that? Or? No, you're fine. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and whip your javelin, yo. That will probably miss. Uh, hits an armor class of nine. No. So the javelin goes flying and embeds <laughs> itself in this far wall. That's the end of Serenity's turn. Okay. Hi, rats. These two oh, acolytes that's... here, two of the anarchists, they point at you, mumble something, some kind of spell, and Elsie Clone and Serenity, you suddenly are swarmed all around your feet by rats with especially sharp incisors. <clears throat> he takes up position behind these crates over here, and he ducks behind these barrels over here. Mahagani. All right. I'm going to head into the room to size up the situation. And then I'm going to uh, cast Fairy Fire. Go ahead and draw it Can out. Can I have drawing? You should have it already. Oh, oh here it is. Uh, so it's a 20 foot cube. So that's. In the mumble chat, courtesy of. Uh... Oh, dude. I would try to go for those thirty. Okay. And they uh, make a deck saving throw. Yep. Oh wow! Uh, what's the DC on that save? DC is. I should. I think it's fourteen. Uh, two passes and a fail. I'll let you pick which one of these guys fails. All right, well, I'll just pick the closest one. Him? Okay. So I'm going to just erase the square. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, because they're still outlined. Uh, the, the objects are still outlined. So maybe that'll help us at, at some point. So I'll just... Yeah, but these, these two guys are not outlined, though, because they passed their deck. Right, they're not outlined. I'm saying the objects are. Yep, the I'm table saying, and whatnot. Maybe that'll come in in handy at some point. I don't know. It's not dark in here. Plenty, I mean, not plenty of light. It's dim light, but it's enough to see by. But now the illumination from the fairy fire has added to that. Are you taking up, are you staying in that square up there? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to move a little bit over. Now are you standing on the stairs or are you hopping that banister? I'll hop the banister. Okay. Uh, it's a 70 foot drop, so how much damage is that? <laughs> oh man, this is a really wide. All right, it's too bad I didn't just walk two over. Right, to where Desta was. LC clone, you have an AC, right? Yeah, at disadvantage, you. 
And Unless Serenity, you also swarm have of reds. Wow, I just rolled two ones. <laughs> Excellent. So uh An LC clone. <laughs> so <laughs> not possible to roll worse than that. So LC clone, you feel the rats swarming around your feet trying to gain purchase. You feel their little claws starting to tug at your clothes, but none of them get a bite in. As My for manly Serenity, boots. How does a twenty one do, Serenity? That it's Six piercing damage from rat bites as they nibble at your toes and ankles. Finding no purchase in Elsie Clone's pants, they start swarming up the staircase on top of Keelian. Keelian, does that squeak you out? That's pretty Tina there, guy. Mm. Eric's back. <laughs> All right, Riot, you're up. Okay. Uh, Riot's going to move over here. Let's see. Um, is it is it apparent once she enters the room? Are 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 any of the enemies not anarchists? I mean, you'd have to ask them to know for sure because they're not wearing any kind of colors. Um, but they do look like the ragtag bunch that had you down in this same room not long ago. These are the guys. In fact, this one here is the guy that slugged you in the stomach. Okay. Then that guy's getting a produced flame. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Holding I'm... grudges, man. Actually, is he? I'm not sure I have the range on that. Only 30 feet, so... Yeah, I'd have to move in closer to get that. Um, mm -hmm. I don't have anything that is. He's got a vicious mockery then. Okay. That's 60 feet. And he makes a saving throw against that, right? Yeah, it's a wisdom save. Big ol' fail. You punch like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. All right, so let's see. That dude takes off the table oh. damage. Yay! Uh, takes uh, three damage, and he's got disadvantage on his next attack roll. Okay, three damage. And... Yep. Okay. I'm going to mark him so I remember. And then as a bonus action, I'm going to give... Mm, let's see. I would give it to Keelian, but Keelian's kind of occupied, so I'll give it to Mahogany. It's a bark inspiration. Alright, cool. I feel inspired. It's probably better anyway, since I forget I have bardic inspiration all the damn time. I know, you guys never use the things I give you. I've used it before. <laughs> we just don't value you enough. I think it's the problem. <laughs> uh, this guy, seeing that he's covered in this bizarre glow, gets really weirded out. Dives underneath the table, crawls under. <coughs> These two misters here step out of the huge cloud of uh, glowy, sparkly stardust and lower crossbows at you guys. It is kind of criminal that Eldov never had a fairy fire. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, nine's not going to do it, right? Right? No. Glitter dust would fit more for Eldov. That's and true. Seven's not going to do it for C-Clone either. Nope. And so they quickly grab their crossbows up off the floor, step out of the sparkle dust. The two of them level down shots. One at Riot, one at LC clone uh, but Both of them miss. Now everybody's about to have a bad day. They're making fools of themselves, but they're making fools of themselves quickly. So we'll make some <laughs> of them, yeah. <laughs> A Kazriel muscles Riot to the side, leaps the banisher, runs down into the room. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. His... Excuse you. With his great sword. <laughs> he has advantage on this roll, right? Because Vicious Mockery, or he just has disadvantage, the target. He has disadvantage on his own rolls. Okay, so Akazriel doesn't get advantage on this. I don't think it's going to matter. It did not. <laughs> <laughs> and 
With one swift motion, he jumps the banister, leaps across the room, brings the great sword down, and cleaves his head off. Man, probably a good thing we've promised to give the box to this guy. In the next split second, you see Akazura whip around, facing where he saw Diller ran, and you see this look of, on his face. It doesn't look like fear. It looks like resolve. Like things just got a lot more real. <laughs> okay. Next thing you know, a six-armed snake woman <laughs> from the corner wow. of the room, wielding blades in every arm, a variety of daggers and swords. Instantly, she darts to the center of the room and begins locking blows with a cosreal in the center. Keelian. Hashtag nope, 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 nope. I'm a fire on her. I'm gonna fire on her? Yeah. Uh, wait, I got rats on me. Uh, yeah, you got rats on me. Also, I don't think you have a decent line to her. Yeah, you do. You're fine. Um, it would be very difficult like, to fire on her, though, because you got Elsie clone in the way. Yeah. And I've got rats to deal with. You do have rats on you, yes. I want to deal with the rats. May the rats eat your eyes. I'm gonna stab the rats. Roll to stab. And stab. Stab the rats. Oh. Nine? Doesn't do it. You start frantically stabbing down. Well, you have what, a rapier or a dagger? I, I have a short sword. You start stabbing down with your short sword, and you scrape a few of the rats off your legs, but every one you knock back gets replaced by two more. They're finding... Cool. Much better purchase on you than they did on Elsie Clone, and they're starting to get dangerously close to your crotch. Uh, not the crotch, not the crotch. A bunny maker. Uh, this is going to be one of those games where I just can't roll for shit. And you hear Diller yelling from the back corner of the room where he ran to, and he shouts. Made a big mistake, Riot. You and yours are going to die here now. But he does not poke his head around the corner. <laughs> Is he serious, Riot? Right? Elsie huh? Clone. Not bloody likely, Slaver Scum. 5, 10, 15... Uh, actually, you know what? No. Because that would take me in scary range of six-armed sword lady, and no thank you. Um, oh, come on. You killed two of these in the last campaign. Hey, look. <laughs> That's when I was level awesome. Now I'm level <laughs> stupid again. <laughs> uh, okay. Actually, I think Eric so, killed oh. them, didn't he? Elder was always level awesome. Because they stole his staff. So what is Elsie Clone doing? Let's see. Bean. What's the situation look like from here? Uh, the situation is you stop right there on that square because he has a held action for anybody coming around that corner. Oh, groovy. Okay. What a dick. So now if you move beyond that square, those rats get an attack of opportunity on you. Um. Which is a sentence that nobody in the world ever said before D&D 3rd Edition came out. Dodge action. <laughs> so you're going to stay there and here. take a dodge? Okay. Dodge action here. Serenity. Uh, flip two hand axes off of her belt. Action trance, reckless attack. Let's start hacking at rats. All right. I like the sound of that. First one will hit a 19 on AC. Good. Good old rat hack. Is that it? Yeah, that, that, yeah. you're good. Rat Swarm does not have much of an AC. <laughs> First axe deals 11 damage. Still up? Yes. Bonus action, second attack, same rat. Set of rats. Uh, that'll hit an IC of 20-something or other. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then I like to imagine four. it's literally just the same rat. Three damage. For three damage. Three damage, really? I'm offhand, I don't get my strength bonus, just oh, the rage. Right, right. Okay. And you take your axes, you start sweeping down these rats that are biting you all up and down the legs and you hear the squeals and splats as they go flying off of you but most of the 
pile is still there. That's the end of Serenity's turn. Okay. Do I have line of sight to riot from this guy? I do. And he's got line of sight to nobody. Do I have partial cover from Serenity being, or Mahogany being, oh no, because he's still on the, he's on the ground. That's yeah, fine. you're slightly above Mahogany. Yeah, Mahogany jumped yeah, down and you're, yeah. you're above everybody because you're on the top of the stairs. Right. Uh, Riot. <laughs> Your charisma is hexed. That means you get disadvantage on charisma checks. Not saves, just checks. Just check. Okay. And then he whips an Eldritch Blast at you. Okay for warlocks. Bear with me as I roll this up. What's your AC? 13. 13. So a nine's not going to do it. Nope. He pokes his head out from behind these barrels just long enough to whip this Eldritch Blast. This uh, streak of white and gold that flies across the room. And you duck out of the way. It explodes in the wall behind you. Mahogany. Yeah. Is it my turn or? No, you're getting you Eldritch Blast. Okay. That's probably, actually, that's probably far enough. Yeah, he's got you from there. He's got me. What does this have to hit my AC? Uh, right now, first I need to determine what I want to hex on you. I'm thinking probably dexterity. So you have disadvantage on dexterity checks. Not saves, just checks. Okay. And he hits an AC of 21. That'll do it. That'll do it. 13 damage. 10 of that's force, Jeez. 3 is necrotic. As this blast hits you okay. in the chest, blows you back up against the banister, and you feel the spot where it hits you, looking down, the wound looks green with necrosis. Wow. Let me remember and my class features again. He jumps back here. Uh, it's too hot, much higher than I can't. My man here is going to hey. blast Elsie Clone. Is he? Elsie Clone. Hey, your, what's your up? Strength is hexed. Strength is hexed? Okay. How does a 18 At do? disadvantage for, for uh Oh, that's right. Dodge. My bad. You are dodging indeed. So how does a... <laughs> how does a 8 do? <laughs> Get pooped on. <laughs> and the blast goes wide. Hits this wall here with the explosion of white and gold sparks going to bring us to Mahogany. Alright. I am going to turn into a brown bear. A brown bear? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to move a little away from the staircase first so I don't bring the whole thing crashing down with me <laughs> onto, <laughs> onto a nightmare. And then I'm going to run around this corner and come ruin this guy's day. Like his whole day or just this part of it? Uh, probably the whole day, and, and quite possibly the next few days as well. Everybody yells after you. Right. Non lethal. Don't kill him. <laughs> Left is a bite. Wait, Ryan doesn't want Mahogany to kill him? Not these anarchists, no. Okay. And uh, that's going to be a 17 to hit. That's good. And a 18 to hit. Both good. So, all right, let's do the bite first. And this guy smashed the shit out of Mahogany, so Mahogany's going for blood, by the way. <laughs> and that's 12 piercing. And that's that's enough. I mean, you come around the corner with your claw, and you rear back, and a minute ago you weren't a bear when he shot you, and now you are. And this look of terror on his face when you rake your claw across. Uh, was that not lethal? Oh, absolutely not. No, no that was lethal. <laughs> and you shred the right half of his face throw his body up against this uh, pile of casks and barrels and it slumps to the ground the heady smell of blood leaking into the air and Mahogany will turn to the next person uh, over here and roar at him okay I got killer gerbils next gerbils 
Elsie Clone, he's rolling a disadvantage. He rolled a five, that's no good. Serenity, he gets to roll an advantage, right? Because you reckless attacked? Yep. Okay. Uh, that still might not have done it. Eight doesn't do it, I'm guessing. Nope. And Keelian, how does 17 do? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Seven points, piercing damage, as you are chewed up by these rats. Whatever. Bait is just totally what? pooping on Keelan today. Riot, you're up. Alright. Riot goes a little bit forward, leaps the banister, and gets herself into a position where she can see Diller. Is that possible from here? Uh, yes. Uh, I th actually, I think I'm covering up the uh, the wall here on my little icon right there, oh. so that's what it looks like. I'll let, you, okay. I'll let you have it from that square, though. Any ranged attack, he's going to get a bonus to AC because LC Clone's giving him partial cover. Ah, uh, I see. Um, where can I leave? But any any closer than that, you risk stepping in the range of the Merolith. Yeah, that's what I really don't want. <laughs> um, are the rats on LC Clone, or are they on this square? Oh, they're swarming that entire square up LC Clone's legs mm -hmm. and around his feet. When you're watching him, LC Clone is dancing around, trying to stomp as many of these rats as he can, making okay. sure they can't bite him. Uh... Let's... Who is who is this? That is one of the anarchists. Okay. Uh, give me one minute here. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out if I which. I figure out if I want to produce flame or something else. Something else might be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Funnier than me the throwing a Merolith at level four party. Funnier than that. Pretty hilarious. <laughs> I like it. We could take it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm just gonna um, let's make this a dissonant whisper. Okay. So that I don't have to make an attack roll. On Diller. On Diller. Give me one second. Oh, so dis. That's a wisdom save, right? It is. He passes. Oh yeah, what do you make? Uh, he rolled a twenty. <laughs> rolled a twenty, so he passes. Does he take half damage or no damage? Uh, he takes half damage, I think. Yeah, half damage and doesn't have to move away. So I still got to roll my stuff. What did he roll? He rolled a twenty. Because <laughs> my thing went up a little bit. What? Well, what was his save? Was it was a twenty? Twenty on die. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Sorry, I, I sorry if you already said. I just didn't hear you. Uh, let's see. That's a. So you round down or up? Uh, uh, round down, and it's three d six, not three d eight. Oh, is it three d six. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Six. Sorry about that. I'm not trying to cheat. But it's psychic damage, which is very rare to be resisted. Yeah, I think the only. Creature that can resist. This is actually a terror. better roll than my wow. Dice, so. <laughs> wow. Also, psychic is the only type that Serenity doesn't resist while she's in rage. Yeah. Right. So this is a uh, eight damage for him. Yep. I think the only creature type that doesn't resist psychic damage is Dillers. And <laughs> what does the what does the the dissonance whisper to him? Um. The the dissonance whispers. It, it's the whisper that um. He's wrong. He's he's wrong about everything. He's making a terrible mistake, and he's and he's he's not acting as an anarchist should. Okay. Speaking of anarchists, with a cry from the corner, this one runs up with a scimitar, looking to put an end to this friggin' black bear that's standing there. <laughs> not with a four, he doesn't, and you just feel. The sword just glancing off your hide. A Cosriel. Does he look like he made a bad choice? Like you, the look on his face? Uh, the look on his face. He looks like he's prepared to die. He looks like he knows this is the end, but he's still going to do his part. I mean, you see fierce loyalty in his face. Um, a Cosriel. Seeing that you guys are starting to advance down the stairs tries to maneuver in such a way to lead the Merolith away from you. Uh, 
but they are still locked for blows. I mean, he's got a great sword that he's wielding two-handed, and she's got six blades and a tail. Um, at this point, you see Akazriel has suffered several grievous injuries, but he's giving as good as he's getting. Uh, one of her arms is hanging limply at the side, and one of the swords is already clattered to the ground. Kelian. I still have rats to deal with. You do. I'm going to deal yeah. with these rats. Oh. There we go. 25. I have a question. 25. When I, I when I kill this spellcaster over here, did any of the rats disappear? No. Okay. So that's not going to work. Yeah, 25 will do it. I'm adjacent to those rats. Yeah. So, what this was eight plus eight plus seven, fifteen. Fifteen. And fifteen damage. With a few precise blows over the course of the past ten seconds or so, you manage to sweep six or eight or ten of these rats away. Uh, but the swarm is still holding pretty good. You've got oh, just under half of them. This is the worst. <laughs> Die Diller like a rat. Diller forward, holding this mean-looking flail in his hand. And he goes to sweep it at Riot. Uh, I'm going to cutting words that. Okay. Which does what? Uh, subtract from his attack roll. With your, okay, you, that uses Bardic Inspiration, right? Yep. Okay, go ahead and roll that. So take a five off that. Take a five. Uh, LC yep. clone, you still have. You're still dodging, yes. Yes. And I'm guessing a eleven does not hit riot. It does not. It does not. Okay. And he swings his flail at you. What are the cutting words? Are you just continuing? go ahead, traitor? <laughs> traitor. You see, he holds just for a shade, just for a split second. You see that. The cutting words get into his brain, get under his skin a little bit, giving you just enough time to parry the flail. Elsie Clone. Oh, Dilla came next to me. That's nice of him. Is it really? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Is, nice is not the word that I would use, but... Yeah, well, that, that, that just saves me from having to step out of these rats and then go and go after his ass. Um, here's what I'm going to do... Is I am going to where the fuck did my yeah okay there we go shifting flow I'm going to go after go at go after a Diller with my pokey pokes of uh, get stunned am I gotta do this at disadvantage because I'm hexed no you do not it's only for oh. ability checks. Oh, okay, then. Well, that first die that I rolled right here was an 11 on die, so that okay. is... I don't remember my attack bonus. God damn. Okay. Uh, uh, 15 to hit? Does not hit. Okay. Um, extra attack. Okay. Uh, it's not going to do it either. So you try to aim a couple strikes at Diller, and one, he throws it aside with a buckler he's carrying. And the other, with the distraction of the rats at your feet, you're just not able to get the uppercut you wanted to throw out. Yeah. Serenity. Uh, let's go for Reckless Attack. This time we're going to be attacking the rats under Killian's feet. Okay. First hand axe. Hit an armor class of 18. That's good. 12 damage. 12 damage. Okay. Second hand X. It's an armor class of 19. That's more than enough. For 6 damage. Okay. Killian, for some reason, the Serenity begins hacking at your toes. And then you realize, oh, she's killing these rats. So you've got maybe 4 or 5 rats still in the swarm at your feet. Cool. 
Uh, this guy's gonna disengage and climb up over these crates to get away from Mahogany. <laughs> Wait, isn't that the guy that got mauled That's and... That guy's dead. Oh, yeah, you're right. Why is he even still on the map? He's still on That's the ground question. bleed, thanks. Yeah, he, well, let, me, let me roll the bleed. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's bleeding. <laughs> uh, Mahogany. Is it my turn? No, you're or about to get dead? shot. Let me think for a second. I always have to ask when it's the Accolade's turn. <laughs> Since I'm right up after. I remember correctly, Riot, you were the one who's not hexed anymore. Because your Accolade died. Mahogany's still <coughs> hexed and LC Clone is still hexed. So, yeah, Mahogany. How does a... Ugh, I don't know if that's going to do it. That uh, maybe. Not super high. Oh yeah, you know, thirteen. How's thirteen do? Thirteen will hit. Thirteen will hit. Okay. Ten more damage. Seven force, three necrotic. As this one throws its his eldritch blast at you. Thank you for giving him a much larger target to hit. I'm sure he appreciates that. <laughs> Alright, well I'm just happy I gave him a different hit point tunnel to hit. <laughs> He's going to have to shoot through Diller's square. Yes. Riot. <laughs> That's a 20. Oof. Be prepared to take a lot of damage. Yeah, this might just draw me in. Really. Eighteen total. No, it did draw me, but it's very close. Uh, from a combination of force and necrotic. Yeah. And you're so focused on Diller at the moment that you don't even see this guy dive forward to throw this blast, and it hits you square between the eyes, and then he very quickly ducks back behind the wall. <laughs> That's going to bring us to Mahogany. All right, uh, which one of these guys is our guy? Gold the yellow pink? one is a Kazriel, the pink one is the Marolith. All right. In that case, I am going to uh, eat an attack of opportunity. Okay. From this guy. Uh, he rolled a one. <laughs> Good job. <All> right. <laughs> and then I'm going to continue my mage hunting duties. Okay. You've got the movement to get all the way over there. Yeah. Okay. I have eight points. Gotcha. And I'm going to take out uh, this guy right here. It's probably a good idea. Left for first attack. Uh, right for second, as usual. Uh, that might do it. 13? Yeah. Those, that and 16? Yeah, those both hit. He's a mage, so that might that might be okay. Well, technically he's a warlock. I mean, get it right. Uh, Mahogany's not sure he understands it. <laughs> I'm sure Terry can explain it to you. He's going humming, 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 humming. Well, pew. if we had some leaks. <laughs> wow, okay. What's the damage on this bear attack? Uh, did, did they both hit? Oh yeah, they both hit. More than enough. Okay, then 8 and a d6. Oh, that's a good roll. 16 that's... plus 24. And guess Piercing who's... and slashing. Non-lethal. Non-lethal? Guess who's... <laughs> yeah. Glad I said uh... that quickly. <laughs> who, who is no longer Hex? I think the one that, that he... Yeah, the, the one, one back, back here, here is the one. You. So you're the only yeah. one who's still hexed. Got it. All right, killer gerbils. And then Mahogany's going to turn net towards the third mage. Go for a serenity first. Uh, ten does not hit serenity, right? No. Elsie clone, you're no longer dodging. Yeah, so you don't get you don't get disadvantage anymore. Does a twelve hit? Nope. And Keelian, how does a 21 do? <laughs> <laughs> These are uh, your uh, arch nemesis. Fortunately, there's not enough left for him to get their full damage, because you've taken them below half hit points. So only six points of rat biting damage. <laughs> I have to ask, in the room full of the, like, the abyssal demon and the eldritch blast-throwing guys and the crazed flail-wielding anarchists, to be the guy that's brought down by the rats... It's got it's got to bruise the ego a little bit. 
That's to a pretty be fair, Segelian the Eldritch Blastering guys basically don't exist anymore. Uh, is Helian still up after the six damage? Oh yeah. Okay. He's still up. As these killer Jerk. gerbils continue to chew at you, it is Riot's turn. Right. Right. Brings out a guitar and braces it overhead and makes to smash it down on the uh, killer's head. <laughs> Going Fuck the, yeah! It's the like a long time. Along. Finally, it's the first time it's been used this game. I oh, think. that was almost, uh, but misses widely. Yeah, but it doesn't break the guitar either. No. Um So yeah, he but carries then, your guitar with his shield and looks very confused for a second. Uh, then she's going to uh, give a bard inspiration to Mahogany. Okay. Uh, I already have it. I don't know if I can have two. You can't. You can't have two. I oh, can't have two. Uh, then I'll give it to Elsa Clown. Okay. Alrighty. I was going to use it last round to boost my attack, but I ended up pitting. Uh, anarchists are next. D6, right? Uh, yeah. D6. Okay. And that's that. This one closes in up on Riot, and you can see he's trying to give this Merolith a wide berth. He actually climbs up on top of this crate and jumps down the other side, rather than walk next to this flurry of swords and arms and snake tail. <laughs> That's uh, fair. He rolls a two, so he misses, right? He <laughs> tries to get you with a scimitar, and you're like, nah, I don't want to be hit with a scimitar today, and then he just agrees. <laughs> Let's see if Akazio can move this Merolith back any further. And now looking back at the corner, uh, both of them have suffered grievous injuries at that point. Akazriel seems to be getting the worst of it. Um, but two of her limbs are useless, and you see part of her rattlesnake tail has been hacked off. Kelian. I got rats to deal with. <laughs> yeah, there's like there's like four rats left on you. Uh, shouldn't I be rolling with advantage? Why? Well, yeah, you're within five feet of Serenity, so you have yeah. to roll with advantage. Yeah. Do, do it. <laughs> wow. Well, what does that hit? They're, they're, wow. Their AC print is pretty low, so... Take the five. Nine? Nope, nine's not good. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night. He's going home. <laughs> He's just like, no, I'm done with this. <laughs> All right, yeah, Diller's going to attack Riot again. I'm gonna cutting words in again. Okay. Track three from whatever that was. Okay. Does a fifteen still hit? A fifteen does still hit. Still does hit. Okay. So he's going to burn this. <laughs> he's gonna murder riot. Does a fifteen hit you, Elsie clone? Uh yeah. Okay, Riot, 18 bludgeon damage. I'm down. Elsie I'm way down. 7 bludgeon damage. So he rears back for this mighty sweeping attack and just knocks Riot over. She goes barreling into Elsie clone. The mace carries through and blasts Elsie clone in the side of the head as well. Are you both down or just Riot? No, I'm, I'm still up. You're still up. Okay. That brings us to... And now that Riot's down, he's turning his attention to you, Elsie Clone. Yeah, and yeah, I, I don't turn. like that. I, I don't like that he lit up Riot. That doesn't make me happy. I mean, he had a score to settle with Riot, so it makes sense. Yeah, no, I, I totally understand that. Um, how does a 23 do you? Uh, that's more than enough. Okay, uh, D4, press T. Uh, three damage. Okay. Do I want to... Yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, disrupt his chakra. So uh, that's one key point down. And that means he's he's stunned and, uh, until the end of your next turn. Uh, no, this okay. thing flow. This is a uh, can't spend superiority dice. Can't, you have disadvantage on attack rolls. Save DCs are reduced by five. All right. Played 17 levels of fighter. He knew when I was spending superiority dice over here. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding, huh? Get fucked. 
<laughs> I got your number, Dealy. You sure Dealy. do. <laughs> Diller. Now, it would have been better if you'd have done that before he knocked Riot out. But, you know, yeah, no, it's not a process. Couldn't hit him. Just couldn't hit him. That was the problem. Moving or staying put? Um. Yeah, I'm going to stay put. All right. Serenity. Let's, uh, let's hack some more rats. Okay. Reckless attack. Uh, this is the swarm on Killian. Hit a 20. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. I don't think you can do less less damage than... Nine damage. Hit, hit points. Yeah, no, that rat swarm is done. Killian, Off guess handed. what? You're now just standing in a pile of dead rats. Yay. Offhand <laughs> attack on the ones around me. Okay. Crit. Crit. <laughs> For uh, ten damage. Ten damage. Okay. And the swarm around you is looking pretty measly now too. These ones are. That's dead. the end of Serenity's turn. Okay. It's gonna bring us to. Well, it says acolytes, but there's really only one left. It's more like acolyte. Yeah, just acolyte now. Then again, photon torpedo here. How does a fourteen do you, mahogany? Your AC. Mahogany? I think it does, because the 13 did him earlier. Oh, 14 will hit, yeah. 14 will hit, okay. And LC clone's the only one still hexed. So, yep. he's not going to get the bonus damage, but he will blast you for 6 force damage. Alright. And he doesn't even have anywhere to retreat to, even if he wanted to. That's going to bring us back to Mahogany, and something tells me now I'm not going to have any <laughs> acolytes. <laughs> Uh, actually, I think I can deal with this acolyte problem. <laughs> I'm going to try to rescue Riot okay. from Diller. I'm going to try to take out Diller and end this fight. Okay. Skirt this guy. <laughs> and... At least I can provide enough harassment to Diller, but I don't think twice before spending his term finishing off Riot. Okay. Left is, as always, the first. Well, they're both the same, so... They're both the same, though. <laughs> uh, that's probably not gonna do it. Eleven? Eleven does not do it. He throws your claw aside with his shield, and then he manages to get his maul up in time, and you just feel the wood in your mouth as you bite down on it. I said flail earlier, then it turned into a mace, and now I think it's a maul. So it's just going to keep... Yeah, every round, it's going to transform into a different weapon. This sounds like a magic weapon. <laughs> you know, you, you still, still got that bardic inspiration. Garland's thing from the Disney, Oh, yeah, right? true. I, I completely forgot about the bardic inspiration. <laughs> Please use let me, it. Let me try using that, so that I don't drive Nick completely insane. <laughs> uh, it's and a D4, also right? That's a D6, I think. D6. D6, uh, D6. inspiration. All right. Sorry about that, Nick. 11 becomes a... 16. 16. That's good. <sighs> Alright, there we go. Is that's that that's what bite? we've been looking for. This is the uh, the claw, because it does more damage. Okay. And sorry, Riot, but if this does take him out, this is lethal, because this guy's a scumbag. Uh, 8 plus 4 is 10. 10 slashing. He rake across his armor. Some of the studs in his leather. 8 plus 4 is not 10, by the way. 8 plus 4 is 12 slashing. 12 slashing? You gotta make up yeah. your mind on how much damage you did to him. <laughs> I was like, 8 plus 4 is 10. I was like, mean, no, actually, that's not true. Numbers. But you do, you leave a big gouge through his armor. Raking him across the chest. Mm -hmm. uh, killer gerbils. Gerbils! On Serenity first. How does a 12 do, Serenity? Misses. Misses. And on Elsie Clone, how does a 16 do? That'll do. That'll do, pig. Five more piercing damage. Okay. From these rats eating your feet. I mean, at this point, you just... Your your feet and the lower parts of your legs are s slick with blood from a thousand little bites. You know what? Work through the pain, man. Riot. Mm -hmm. That's hey, that's safe. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, stuff's going on. Uh, let's see. 
Big bucks, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. You're good. All right, pass. One pass. Did I take any damage? Did Diller hit me? No. No. But this anarchist okay. is about to. Okay. So that's two failed saves. All right, then. As he reaches down with his scimitar and tries to cut your throat, but LC Clone is standing next to him. And he doesn't get the cut that he wants. It's going to bring us to 